Lizzie posting a reaction video not two months apart? I think we stepped into like a parallel universe or something. I get it, Ladybug. Your friendship means everything to me. You can keep the rose. It goes with your costume. Hey guys, it's Lizzie. Welcome to part, I think, six? Don't quote me on that. Of my reacting to season five series. Today we are going to be watching Elation. And yes, I am fully aware that the last episode we were reacting to Passion and Reunion is the next episode. I actually decided to skip that episode. I just don't think it's really like that reaction worthy. Plus I like just really wanted to get to Elation. But yeah, we're just gonna get into this episode because I literally already have so much to say and we haven't even started. <laughs> Oh, he starts off with Lady Noir. I forgot about that. Amazing team. Catch you later. She yanks him. I love his face. Ta-da! Could we talk about how she brought that out? Like... Express snack service just for two. <laughs> Such a successful mission calls for a celebration, right? Oh, that's very sweet, but we don't have time right now. Oh, my gosh. She's giving major cat noir vibes here. I love it. You know what? That's what makes me so sad about getting to this episode. I just know after this episode, this ladybug is gone. Like, no more constantly flirting. No more of the cat noir version of ladybug. Ah. A minute can last an eternity when you're with the right person. <laughs> he just, he doesn't get it and it's so funny. I kept talking about that in my last reaction. Like, constant flirting. But can cat noir scan any of it? Nope. <laughs> she can oh my gosh and the fact that she thinks that canmore's still in love with her she's like yeah he's still in love with me but he's just acting this way because he's so in love with me that he has to hide his feelings from me she's just as delusional as the rest of us let's at least kiss before we say goodbye what are you doing i always kiss four times come to think of it actually four is a little stingy how about eight it went eight how about 24 how about 100 this part kills me I know what you're trying to do, and it's not gonna work, m'lady. We're partners and friends. Just friends owned her. You, you have a new girlfriend or something? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're testing me. Could I tell you if I had a girlfriend? No, because the less we know about each other, the harder it is for Monarch to win. So, did I pass the test? <laughs> This girl has put Cat Noir through so much. And you know that's the case when she's literally flirting with him. And the first thing he thinks of is that she's just trying to test him. <laughs> no, honey, she's in love with you. It's kind of giving Boy Who Cried Wolf. Like, you keep putting him through these tests, constantly reminding him that you're just friends. So then when you want to be more than friends, he's obviously not going to actually believe that's what's going on. He just thinks you're putting him through a test. With flying colors. Right, see you later. You almost got me. You almost got me. It's like what? My favorite lines. Closet? Yeah. Can I get a selfie with you? Uh, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to go now. Hey guys, he's Hi. here. I totally forgot this was the episode that Alex is in. If you guys don't know, Alex is a content creator. She also does voice acting and stuff. And Ezra, the voice director of Miraculous, let her have like a little role. So she got to do a little character in the show and the blonde girl was her. That's just a cool little fun fact. Love you, Alex. She's not watching this. <laughs> Ugh, why is he being so good lately? Mr. Perfect Kitty, Mr. Hanging on to his secret, Mr. Number One Partner. <laughs> Mr. Number One Partner. Girl, it's literally your fault he's that way. Like, I don't know why you're getting mad at him. Blame yourself, girl. You are the one who asked Cat Noir to stop wooing you, giving you roses, telling you he loved you. But I was only turning him down because he was such a persistent nag. This is why I love her. It's like, don't do it. Just unless I want you to do it. But then it's like, okay, well then how is he supposed to know when you want him to do it? Can't believe she constantly told him to change and then gets mad when he does. Pick a side. But also because I didn't love him back. Another very good reason. Wait a minute. What if this is the same thing? What if Cat Noir is declining all my invitations because, because he's no longer in love with me? Oh, uh, well, you kind of. <laughs> It's complicated. You'll understand it someday. You mean you as Ladybug? You've said uh, it yourself a hundred times. Cat Noir and Ladybug just can't work. You'd end up blabbing your secret identities to each other. Monarch would find out and your Miraculous would go bye-bye. Bye-bye. Because you couldn't keep your secret from Nina when you're both superheroes doesn't mean I can't do it with Cat Noir. Dang. Shots fired. That's also so funny though because don't even try to say you wouldn't spill your secret to him. I have seen Ephemeral 
Just saying. You think you wouldn't, but you would. Hey! Who gave us both a miraculous at the same time? And if you love a superhero, you're gonna want to know who's behind the mask. Go off, Grilly. And that's honestly the problem with Lady Noir. I've probably said this before, but like, it's just not logical. Like, literally the only way that Lady Noir could ever be together is if they revealed. I mean, yeah, they may get together and everything's nice in the beginning, but like, they can't really know each other and they can't really spend time with each other when they have to keep their identities a secret. Which is why I think it's so stupid when everyone thinks that Adrianette breaking up means Lady Noir will be together. I mean, there's a possibility that Adrianette will break up and Lady Noir would be together, but even if they do get together, it's not gonna end well. They're gonna end up breaking up two seconds later because it didn't work out. I am not lying to myself and I know exactly how I feel. Right, which explains the pics of Adrian plastered all over your wall. They're still up. Planning his birthdays for the next 25 years? Kissy kissy hamster! Yeah, right, Adrian was more like kissy kissy nothing. What's so wrong with kissy kissy meow meow? For kills me. We're like kissy kissy nothing! Okay, but also, Cat Noir would also be kissy kissy hamster because last time I checked, he was the one that told you he also wanted a hamster, so... Just saying. And also, what's wrong with kissy kissy meow meow? Everything! Everything is wrong with it. Hello, I was wondering, uh, so I was in the neighborhood cute. and, uh, <laughs> I thought, uh, <laughs> is Marinette here, please? Look at our cute little sunshine boy! Oh my goodness. This face is just everything to me. The blushing, the love stare, his, like, nervous hands. Stop. Why is he acting weird? He's not acting weird. He's in love. With Marinette? That would be amazing. Yes, oh. it's wonderful. Tom and Sabine are like one of the reasons why I ship Adrianette so much. Like, I love that they love Adrianette so much. I've always loved how much they love him. How much her whole family loves him. Like, they are meant to be together. I usually like to compare how they act towards Adrian to how they acted towards Luca, just because they just acted so differently. When it comes to Adrian, they're so like gushy about it and they love it. They're always really pushing Marinette to be with him. But with Luca, I mean, they weren't like against Luca. Of course, they were like really supportive of him and Marinette's relationship with him. Like they were okay with them dating and stuff and you could see that they were supporting her, but you could just tell that they didn't actually really think that Marinette and Adrian were gonna be together. I just love it so much. I honestly can't wait to see more of Adrian's relationship with Tom and Sabine in season six. They're gonna be like his second parents and they'll give him a lot of food. <laughs> Why should I be the only girl who's not allowed to find him handsome? No, that's it! I'm Marinette, just a normal girl with a normal life and if I think Cat Noir is handsome, that's my right! I know exactly how I feel! Oh my goodness, Grilly! Take a gel pill! And also, no one said that you couldn't see Cat Noir as handsome. Like, that's not the problem. We're just saying you can't be in love with him. And you're not fully in love with him. Hey, I know you. You're the Alliance guy. Can I take a picture with you? I've always wanted a selfie with my personal assistant. Awesome. <laughs> the little Alliance Adrian, like, clapping. <laughs> it's so funny. He's like, yay. You did it. Good job. <laughs> my friends are going to flip out when they see this. Please, Alliance, post this picture no, on all my social do. media accounts. Post it on all my social media accounts. <laughs> Me if I met Adrian. <laughs> you just wanted to see Marinette, didn't you? Uh, everything reminds me of her plague. I can't help it. Mm. It's gotta be nice enjoying pastries with a girl you love. Okay, but the fact that he literally had the chance to eat them with the love of his life, like, like I don't know, an hour ago. <laughs> he just didn't know it was the love of his life, so it's fine. <laughs> Oh, this part. <laughs> I like Cat Noir. Cat Noir. Cat Noir. Chat Noir. Cat Noir. Cat Noir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what Cat Noir does kills me. He goes. Like, and then look at Marinette in the background just like huddled. <laughs> they are both just as dorky as each other. I just wish Adrian showed his more dorky side because I would love to see a dorky Adrianette. Just like how we usually see Marisha as like super dorky because it's such a cute dynamic. <laughs> They're perfect for each other. <laughs> Listen, if this were anyone else, I'd be extremely embarrassed for you. Because <laughs> this is like... Ah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's so awkward. 
The fact that everybody has the audacity to constantly call Adrianette cringy and awkward when this scene literally exists. <laughs> Come on, y'all. I need a minute. Like, I need a break to recoup. It's a lot to have to watch all at once. <laughs> but I love it and I love them. I mean, not completely, because the truth is, I actually think about you a lot. Okay. Cat Noir in his lover era. But also, one thing that I love about this in particular is when Cat Noir had given Marinette a rose in the past, it was a pink rose. This time it's a red rose, which are usually reserved for Ladybug. Just saying, I feel like it symbolizes something. Don't ask what, I don't know. Maybe it symbolizes Ladybug or I don't I don't know. Anyway. You think about me a lot? Well, so do I. Really? You think about me? No, I think about me a lot. See, you said you think about me, so I was agreeing with you. I I, I was agreeing that I think about me all the time. I'm just that good. Totally. Moonlit rides are awesome. <laughs> like going to get some ice cream. It is hot out tonight. Very hot. Yeah. Ah! They were so close. The kissing! Let me tell you, I remember almost like passing out because I was like, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna kiss. And then they didn't kiss and I was like, ah, dang it. But let me tell you, I feel like this whole entire episode, when I first watched it, I kept joking being like, oh, they're gonna kiss because like they kept getting close and I was like, oh, they're definitely gonna kiss. But it was one of those things where I was like, oh, they're gonna kiss, they're gonna kiss, I want them to kiss. But then when they actually did kiss, I was like, I was not expecting that. Like, I kept saying it would happen, but usually in Miraculous, it never does happen, so that was just funny. I, like, threw my phone and screamed so loud when they actually kissed. We're not there yet, though, so spoiler alert. Why am I getting angry? Marinette is my BFF. If she wants to pursue Cat Noir, that's her choice. After all, I thought he was cute too oh. at first. Don't tell Nino. He would literally go around trying to kill Cat Noir. <laughs> Also, I love how she just completely leaves Alia on her own. No goodbye. Just up and leave. She actually probably even forgot Alia was there. Where's Marinette? <laughs> She's in the middle of the sky. <laughs> they were so happy. They're such a cute little pair and they were having so much fun. Andre had to go and ruin it. Why doesn't this man just leave people alone? Like, let them be, please. <laughs> Marinette and Cat Noir, what are you two doing here? We're here for ice cream, of course. Unless you're selling hot dogs now. <laughs> that was such a good one, Cat Noir. <laughs> but I make sweethearts ice cream, not jokers and good friends ice cream. Look, who do you Shut up. Just give them the dang ice cream. <laughs> I love you, Andre. You talk too much, though. You, Cat Noir, are in love with a ladybug, and you, Marinette, are supposed to be in love with Adrian Agrest. The way my jaw dropped to the floor when I first heard this. Dang, Andre just outed them. Well, I mean, not Cat Noir, because everyone knew he was already in love with Ladybug, but like, he just outed Marinette being in love with Adrian, which should have also been obvious, but Adrian's blind, so. Oh. He goes, you're a what? <laughs> Forget it, Andre. We'll okay, but like, Cat Noir, you're literally Adrian. Not really sure why you're upset. Like, you do realize that by Andre saying that Marinette was in love with Adrian, like, she's still in love with you, right? <laughs> why are you so mad? Way to go, Andre. You ruined everything. You were in love with Adrian Agrest. Yes, but it just made me act in the worst ways. It was too much to bear. <laughs> Insert her literally dating him two seconds later. <laughs> You're no longer in love with Ladybug? No. Oh. It was too much to bear. It just made me act in the worst ways. This one hurt my soul. I can't say that. Lady Noir has officially died. We've already put him in the casket. They're lowering it into the grave. Farewell, Lady Noir. <laughs> I'll miss you. At least you still have your fans. Maybe they wouldn't be such big fans if they knew who was really behind the mask. I think he's kind of saying they wouldn't like Cat Noir if they knew he was Adrian, which is kind of crazy because everyone loves Adrian. But maybe that was like a direct reference to the fact that Marinette wasn't in love with Adrian anymore. Because like when she was saying you still have your fan, it's almost like she was kind of referencing herself. So then maybe he was like, well, maybe you wouldn't like me as much if you knew who I really was because she wasn't in love with Adrian anymore. I feel like there's just like a deeper meaning to this conversation. And as 
much as this episode hurts me because they couldn't be together, I think that Kanwar did the right thing, which we'll talk about in a second when we get there. I'm fine with the mask. I don't care what's underneath. So you say that now, but if you end up together, then it won't be long until you want the mask to go away. But also, I do love that because she was kind of just saying that she loved him for who he was. And obviously, Cat Noir is such a big part of who Adrian is. So she's essentially saying she'll take him for what he is, which I feel like just made Adrian love her that much more. Like specifically with Kagami, she loved him, but she didn't love all of him because she couldn't really accept the Cat Noir aspect of him. So like now he knows for a fact that Marinette is the perfect girl for him because she loves him no matter what and she would take him as cat noir Fan, as in. oh my gosh ready to do this <laughs> even this this is his nose oh my goodness guys i can't this Okay, but apparently in the script is said that he doesn't kiss her cheek. He like kisses like just like this part like little I guess like crook of your mouth. Don't know if that's what it was called, but like that's the first thing that came to my head. <laughs> Guys, I'm dying. Like I can't do this right now. I can't with this scene. It is too cute. Like <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Dig me a grave too. And don't even get me started about the fact that Last Dance is playing in the background. <laughs> Babs, why are you opening your eyes? Can we talk about that, please? Like, could you imagine kissing someone and you just like quickly open your eyes and they're just <laughs> staring right into you? I would literally like die. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? This is too weird. We, I mean, I'm being a complete fool. As much as I hate this, he he did the right thing though, and he is. I know who you are, but you don't know who I really am, and I'm taking advantage of you being a fan by kissing you. And that's what I was trying to say earlier. Obviously, he was in love with her, and Marinette was in love with Cat Noir, so it's like, yay, we're in love with each other, and like we can kiss and we can be together. The only problem is she wasn't in love with Adrian, meaning that she technically doesn't want to be with him. So like trying to get with her as the version of him that she wants to be with is kind of taking advantage of her just because she doesn't actually really want to be with him. Does that make sense? I feel like I feel like I'm talking nonsense right now, but like I think you guys would get what I'm saying. I mean, if she had admitted to still being in love with Adrian, then it would have been fine that they were together. But like since she wasn't, it just it wasn't right for him to be with her as Cat Noir. I mean, if they dated when Marinette still didn't really love Adrian and then he revealed and he's like, surprise, I'm Adrian. I would feel pretty hurt because I would be like, so you wanted to be with me So you just were this other person because you knew you didn't like me in the other form Like it's it's kind of a little bit of like a complicated Subject to explain at least for me to explain but like hopefully you get my drift it hurt But he did a good thing. Why can't I love whoever I want to love? You can't. <laughs> I can't That line gets me every time but also, little do you know that she's also a superhero, so technically she's in the same boat as you. <laughs> oh, goodness. He's back. Unmask her. I am Unmask her? You <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> you akumatize her, it's gonna take you two seconds to unmask her. All I want in return is Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. She's reaching for the earrings. Girl dumb. Marinette, kiss me! I love that she had already dropped the rose. The mask had gone away. She had already kind of came to right as he said, kiss me. So she probably would have gotten unakumatized or whatever you would call it without him kissing her, but like he still kissed her. <laughs> he was like, gotta think fast. Love how his first instinct was to kiss her. It worked, so I'm not complaining though. This can't be. Ladybug and Cat Noir should be in love. My magical flavors of ice cream are never wrong. Imagine crying because Cat Noir doesn't want to be with Ladybug. That is actually kind of relatable though. Get the back in the garbage, you ugly I gotta say, I'm not loving the new voice of Glossiator in this episode. Like, uh, it's just, it's like kind of icky. <laughs> Ladybug and Cat Noir are made for each other. And See, like, I don't know why they changed his voice. Like, I understand that he has the miraculous and stuff, but like, there's been other people that have been akumatized back into the same person. Their voice didn't change. Like, I don't know. I just, 
I just think they should have kept the voice the same. Like, it's it's just weird now. No miraculous. That's what you think, you naughty kitty. Oh, that's, that's, that's not. <laughs> you don't know what flavor to serve her. How about I'm free to make my own choices with a touch of mind your own beeswax. Huh? I love that part. Mind your own beeswax. Seriously, like, I know he's the sweetheart's ice cream maker, but, like, that doesn't give you the right to just get into everyone's business. Like, just get people ice cream. Let them be. Goodness, child. At Noir. At Noir. You must be in love with Ladybug, not the marinette. Maybe what actually keeps you from loving each other are your- The little neck rub. Oh, my God. Miraculous! Without them, you would no longer be superheroes. You wouldn't have to defend Paris. You'd be free! Free to be happy and in love! Not true, because if that happens, they won't live in a world. The world would be destroyed. They physically can't live anywhere. They won't live happy because they won't live anywhere. <laughs> They'll be dead. But it's clear you no longer have feelings for me. It's not quite true, my lady. Let's just say my feelings have changed, and I still love you. Let's just leave it at that. That's it. I still love you. The end. But just as a friend. <sighs> friend zoned yet again. Okay, but like, I don't want you to be friends. So, what are you gonna do about that? <laughs> You're melting my butt! <laughs> You're melting my butt. <laughs> Sorry, that line is so funny. Ladybug, a cat noir. Was I akumatized again? Mm -hmm. I'm a sorry. It's just that you make such a beautiful couple. But oh well, what matters most is that you're happy. Well, now you mention it. Where were you when Marsha came to get ice cream from you? Where was that statement then? He came back for her. I'm sorry about what happened, Marinette. You're right. You have the right to love anyone you want, even a superhero. But it's easy for a person to mistake idolization of a superhero for love. So even if I like this person very much, I could be taking advantage of the situation. But yeah, like, I kind of already talked about this with her not being in love with Adrian, so he was kind of taking advantage of her in that way. But also, I feel like this is kind of another aspect of it where it's like, well, you only know the mask, so clearly you don't really know me. So it's really easy for you to probably just have this, like, vision of me in your head, and, like, that's what you're in love with. And so if you were to actually meet me after we've been dating for a while, if you meet the real him, then it may not be what you thought it was. So, like, it's just, like, a mess up situation and he would basically be taking advantage of her because of that and besides i get where you're coming from i mean if i were you i'd be a fan of me and i'd want to kiss me all the time it reminds me of when he was like after all i'm awesome in so many ways even i could fall in love with myself good to know kenmore <laughs> good to know and i also get that you're a really good person oh it's a cute little hug one of my favorite hugs of all time do you think someday I'll figure this love thing out? Don't worry, girly. You will in about one episode. Because guess what? The next episode, you <laughs> start dating Adrian. Also, I just, I hate how, first of all, I just hate how The Last Dance is playing, period. But I also hate how The Last Dance was also playing in Glossier 2.0. Because, like, the comparison, she was literally practically confessing her love in Glossier 2.0 when that song was playing. But now, they practically, like, broke up. She can't do this to me. <laughs> I can't love Marinette as Cat Noir. And, well, she doesn't love me as Adrian anymore. This man cannot win. He was in love with Ladybug. She wasn't in love with him. He was in love with Marinette. She's not in love with him. My poor baby. Look, for centuries, I neglected the baked cheeses I used to love, and now... You love them again. That means Marinette could fall for me again someday. Thank you, Plague. You're the best. <laughs> I know. I Can know. I have some more? Okay, Plague, Mr. Love Expert. You know what? Seeing Plague actually give Adrian hope is crazy. Like, in what world? That is not the Plague we know. The Plague we know would be insulting Adrian and laughing at him because Marinette wasn't in love with him. <laughs> Okay, well, just like that, we have yet another episode down. I think this episode is really bittersweet at the end of the day. Because, like, we got so much, but it just kind of ended with us. Okay, well, now my heart is broken. <laughs> but, like, I mean, everything kind of, like, works out in the end. But I'm gonna go cry about Lady Noir now. <laughs>